Okay, so I'm going to go over the whole noodle mash where Natasha went off on noodle mash. Um, it really bothered me and the way that she, um, I guess, attacked noodle mash. And Natasha always seems to do this. It's the same pattern. Anytime anyone leaves her for whatever reason, she really can't handle it, you know? And so she, of course, ends up with her usual self attacking them and being vile and, you know, got to put them down and, you know, insult them. And, you know, she just goes on and on. And this is always something that she does. I, I will never understand it, why she just can't allow someone to leave. Uh, even if someone doesn't even say anything back, she just feels like she always has to say something over and over and over and loves to push people buttons. And then when they respond, oh, she'll be like, oh, you see how they talk about me? I hadn't even mentioned them. You know, I haven't brought them up. I haven't done this. I haven't done that, which we know is a total lie. I mean, at this point, I've realized that Natasha loves drama. She feeds off a of drama. And, um, and it's really sick. It really is. Um, it's really sad to see that someone daily wakes up. I mean, I'm surprised that she isn't even more sick because I feel honestly that people who are such in a toxic environment day in and day out, I mean, and with the drama that she does pretty much daily, and if she ain't doing it daily, she's at the casino, um, that you know, it, I feel like with so much stress that it would age you and really make you sick. And I don't know how she just can continue. I have never met anyone like her. So I'm going to go over this video and, uh, we're going to go through it together and let's take a look now. So let's do this. Noodle Mash has made a community post now and it's called us the mean girl live. From earlier. Noodle Mash, you don't have a damn clue what a mean girl is, but you about to bite off more than you can chew, boo boo. I haven't said shit about your dumb ass. And now you're gonna do a two part series? No, fuck that and fuck you. Now you got my attention. But once again, this is what I'm talking about. It's just the way that she speaks. You to need people. to worry more this about what dumbass crap is speak channel. like this about someone. I, I won't, like I said. But let's keep going. And your fucking cats, they're everywhere. Who talks about someone's I cat? I... Okay. <sighs> Who talks about people's cats? It's like, I, I don't get it. Like, I don't know if Noodle Mash had her cats wherever. It doesn't really even matter. Who cares where Noodle Mash has her cat on her desk, on her bed, on her couch? It doesn't really matter. And that's so petty. Like, this is what I talk about. It's like with Natasha, it's always these little small underhanded little digs that she does. And it's so petty. Like, a cat, really? Like, who cares? But, of course, she's got a name everything you know everything who cares i mean are you paying her bills just saying cute she ain't seen mean girl <laughs> but you about to see one well and here's the thing about natasha that i really just stands out to me is she always has to make it seem that she's this big tough person you know and no one's gonna get her and you know she's not bothered by anyone and you know she has the same pattern she's like the big badass person and all of a sudden she's like look what they're doing to me you know and then it's like no one's gonna do anything to me and they're like look they're trying to take my money away and you know anyways she does the same cycle but I always notice that she tries to come off really tough and really like a hard ass and um to me honestly she's just a big bully you know but she really tries to come off really like like I said a hard ass and I just like there's no need to come off like that. Like, but of course, that's how she feels like it's her against the world, I guess, is how she sees things. So, you keep on, Donkey Kong. My name ain't Robbie. And I know you've been dying for some damn attention. You're gonna get some. You keep on. And your little dumbass post that you made saying, I left, get over it. Bitch, I'm glad your ass is gone. What the fuck did you do here? Nothing. And this is what she says about everybody. Like, every time someone leaves, like, oh, good, just leave. You don't need to come back, you know? Um, you know, if that's so true, then just why not just move on? Why do you always have to 
you know, really like go at them. Like just move on. If they really do not bother you when they leave, then you would just move. You would go. You wouldn't worry about it. You wouldn't insult them. You wouldn't even let them cross your mind. You know, you just move on. But I mean, you can't. Obviously, you're very bothered by every time someone leaves your community. And let's be honest, it's been a lot of people this year, like a lot. Like I've lost count. I can't even keep up because it's like, it's just way too many. Come in and complain. Come in and talk about how busy you are. Come in and talk about how I just got to pop in. I don't feel good. I'm depressed. I've got a mental health issue. Big shit. Who don't? Everybody's got some damn problems. But you always whining and crying about yours. Okay. I'm huge on mental health. And it really, 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 really frustrates me when she talks about mental health. Like, it really does. It really gets under my skin. Um, she ha she really lacks a lot of empathy for people. And that is one one of the biggest things that really bothers me is the way that she talks about mental health. And I, I you know, she... I know just by listening to her that she's very um, uneducated and she seems almost really bothered if somebody like, Lord forbid, if any of her family members have any kind of mental health issues and they can't even come to her. Like, that's really sad that you can't come to your old mother and be like, man, you know, I'm really struggling with something because I mean, she's just really like, basically like, oh, well, get over it. Everybody does. Everybody has it. Tough shit, you know, kind of, you know mentality about it is really sad you know and a lot of yeah a lot of people do suffer from mental health and for different reasons and maybe that's why a lot of people do go on youtube for a community to you know to hang out and chit chat with people but lord knows nobody can come to you about that keep on poking my damn name ain't mrs portland you keep fucking around with the bull and you're going to get the damn horns. Like I said, always try to seem tough. Always, always. She needs to get my name tattooed across her ass. That's what she needs to do. Sitting over there in your damn cluttered up dirty ass shit talking about other people. Fuck that. The only reason you got a damn channel and the only reason you have people watching you is because you used Mrs. Portland. That's it. Okay, she always says this, like, if someone's growing their channel, it's like, oh, it's because they use, you know, such and such name, or this such and such name, or her name, you know, it's always somebody, I know she, uh, I was looking back at her older videos, and she went, I don't know much about this other person, she's called Brittany, or, you know, I can't think of the name right now, but anyways, she was attacking her, and I was looking at that, and anyways, um, but, you know, she did it also on the Watts case. And Lord knows we all know about the Gabby Petito grew her true crime channel. And so she's allowed to do whatever she wants. But Lord forbid if anybody has any kind of issues with anybody, because if you talk about them, all of a sudden you're using them for everything. It's like, I, I just, uh, it annoys me that she constantly says that. She says that about everybody. And it's always once they leave. It's like, oh, well, you use this person, you use that person. But then she always has that sense of be like, oh, well, I'm not going to change my morals for anybody and do this. Well, if that's how you felt in the beginning, then why didn't you say something? Like, I, I just don't get it. Like, you're okay as long as they're supporting you. And as soon as they want to do their own thing, then okay, time to attack because they left your community, right? Typical. That's the only damn reason. Welcome, Auntie JoJo. The only damn reason you got anybody watching your ass. I ain't said shit about you till tonight. Yes, she did on Hunter Shaw. I ain't even thought about your dumb ass other than laughing. Sure. Who the fuck are you, lady? Another loon. Another fucking loony tune. Who wants to use their mental health problems as a damn crutch for attention? You think you, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said it tonight and I will say it again. I'm nice till I ain't. I don't think she's really nice. That's just my and opinion. now I ain't. You ain't no damn survivor. What the fuck have you survived? Here we go with that bullshit again. You gonna go over there to the recliner rejects? You need help and not the help that the internet provides. Every one of y'all damn crazy. And your crafting ain't cute. People lie.
Okay, here we go. Now it's time to insult her even more on her crafting. Um, here's the thing. She was in her channel plenty of times, and, you know, she would see her crafting. If that's what you really felt, and suppose you're so-called friends, you know, why wouldn't you say that? You know, you're only saying this because she left you like this is how you always are with everybody like you have this pattern of always degrading everything they that, that they do no matter if it's you know they sell items or they they're crafty and say oh you're never going to amount to this you don't you don't know nothing about growing a youtube channel or you know you constantly have something negative to say about everybody you could just not say hey you know what i wish you well you know moving forward you know maybe we'll cross cross paths again maybe not but you know I wish you well, you know, have a good day. No, you know, that's the thing. Natasha isn't capable of doing this. So now it's time to insult her crafting, which is like, who cares what they do? I mean, I don't, I will, oh, let's just move on. Ain't nobody done shit to you. Nobody. And you picked the wrong fucking day to mess with me. I can tell you that right damn now. You You're have really your fucking family. Okay, is there really ever a good day to go with Natasha? I mean, she's constantly negative every freaking day. Like, every day. It's always something. It's always something every day. It's like some kind of, oh, this happened to me. Oh, they got into my PayPal. Oh, they try to come into, you know, my house. Oh, they try to, you know, I don't know. I mean, I can go on and on. It's always something with her. Her car, you know, tires got flat. I mean, it's just, I'm sorry, but it's just always something. It's like, who has this much going on in their life? Like, really? And if you really do, like, why not just get off of YouTube? I mean, if, I'm just, I'm just saying. Threatened, you dumb bitch. And then you sit there and talk about being a survivor. You ain't a damn survivor. You're just a dumb bitch who makes ugly shit. Wow. How do you know her whole story, Natasha? I mean, how do you know she's not a survivor? How, how? Who are you to judge? Who are you to say that? Like, that's just insane to me. It's not just insulting, you know? It's like, everybody has their own story. And for you to leave and minimize her story is just disgusting. But that's just who you are. Very disgusting. People felt sorry for your ass. That's why they bought you stuff. Yeah, I said it. Wow. That's low. And Yorkie, that's why everybody ended up over there. They felt sorry for her. Sure. They don't like you. They felt sorry for you. Because they thought... But you were a good person. You ain't. Hmm. You're just another user. Everybody uses. Everybody, according to Natasha. Even though she's the you number one user. You can't. And you probably are a bully. You probably did bully Mrs. Portland. <sighs> the okay. more that I think about it, the more that I believe it. Mm-hmm. Okay. But you didn't have well, any of these feelings. Snap, didn't you comment on her channel just a few minutes ago underneath her community post? You're boring as fuck. If she was so boring, then why did oh, you know, ever associate with her? Why? Why would you? If she's so boring to you, and you thought her crafting sucked and blah, 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 whatever, you're going to keep going on and on. Why? Why did you even associate with her then? If this is how you really felt, and you don't lower your standards according to yourself. You know, even though you're not lowering her standards, I think that Noodle Mash is a wonderful person. And if she wants to craft all day, then let her craft. She loves crafting. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, that's her thing. That's her thing that she loves to do. Honestly, I love to do it. I suffer with um, anxiety and PTSD, and that's just one of my things. I love crafting. I love doing puzzles. You know I love walking. I mean, there's different things, but Lord forbid, shoot, you probably attack that too. So, I mean, ugh. I mean, you go to the casino. Let's be for real. You have a gambling problem. I mean, let's get this straight here. And she's gonna say, "Oh, she's so mean." Well, she's you are. So mean. You're very mean. She's so mean that you ain't seen mean. Well, we have. We've seen a lot girls? of your videos. I didn't even say shit about your ass when I was on Hooker's channel. I didn't say shit, and I ain't drug you, but I will. And you keep the fuck on, and I'm gonna. Typical. Typical Natasha. Typical. You gonna learn why people don't like me? Huh? They can see past you videos. Because I don't put up with bitches like you playing the victim of their own circumstances you did this shit you kept on poking it you act like you a victim you ain't a victim how do you know but i will tell you what i am you will not win you will not win 
You see, the thing with Natasha, too, is that everything with her is about winning. Winning or losing. Winning or losing. Like, I'm not going to lose. I'm not going to lose. It's like, what are you trying to win? Like, everybody can be on YouTube. Everybody can have a channel. Everybody can do their own thing. I mean, there's people that watch people do puzzles, watch crafting. People, you know, do stuff on their car. You know, I mean, everything. There's all kinds of stuff. You don't, you don't tell people what they're good at, what they're successful at, if they're, you know, their crafting sucks. Who are you to judge that? Like, just let them be. If you're not threatened by them, then let them be. But to me, you're really threatened by people. I think that your time is always limited on YouTube and you're pretty pissed off about that. And, you know, you're just mad that everybody keep can continue to have a channel and, you know, your time is ticking. You are fighting a losing battle. There's no battle. Just in your head, Natasha. Always. Always. And those you got over there on your side that's hoo-hooing and ha-hawing you, they ain't shit neither. And your name is stupid. Well, of course, insult her name. Shocker. <laughs> what is it? So she's attacked her crafting. She's attacked her name. She's attacked her mental health. Uh, <laughs> she's attacked her cat. Oh my gosh, it's just ridiculous. But at is poor mouthing. You sat up there and said that you bought a bunch of stuff. No, Jillian. Mm -mm. You bought a bunch of stuff in the makeup sales. You, I want you to count up and see how many things she bought. Who cares how much she bought? And Actually, she bought. Not bought for her. Nobody has exactly. to buy makeup. The majority of what you got, you dumb bitch, oh was bought for your ass because you always over there poor mouthing mm. that you ain't got no damn money. Oh, now let's call her and say she don't got no money. Oh, Lord. So don't even act like you spent a whole bunch of shit over here. No. Nah. But I donated to your dumb bullshit repeatedly. <laughs> that was your choice. Who the fuck names himself Noodle Mash? Who cares? Right, love you. Who cares? I don't Nothing. know. It may have been. If it wasn't you, Paula, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. I can't. Oh. You about to get your Noodle Mashed. Huh. What does that mean? Is that a threat? Yeah. Wow. This lady's sick. And I'm just the right damn one to stomp on it. Hmm. I wonder what that means. So sad. Now write another dumbass community post about your part one of a part two series. She's allowed to have a voice, Natasha. Part one of a part two series. Bullshit. What makes it? Oh, uh, honey, I don't give a shit what they say. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Sure, you don't. You do. Don't give a shit. My give a damn is busted mm -hmm. with all these dumbasses. Today and this shit that has been done to me? No. Nah. Mm-mm. No. Nah. Mm-mm. This is what her post says. Let me read it to y'all. Wait till you hear the hashtags. Oh, boy. Here we go. It says, tune in tomorrow at 2 p.m. PST mm -hmm. for part one of a two-part live where I address the Mean Girl Club live from earlier tonight and then it says she's tagged me and she tagged hooker she said hashtag lying isn't a good look hashtag work smarter not meaner hashtag i left get over it hashtag <laughs> survivor bitch please i ain't lying noodle mash you forgot hashtag freedom <laughs> about shit you dumbass I'm telling y'all right now you ain't seen mean Robbie was if you've seen any of Natasha's old videos you've seen mean oh and I have plenty on my channel so just pick one and trust me it's she's she's brutal she's very beautiful Br brutal <laughs> sorry and vile her behavior is just sick I mean very sick it's easy on your ass Easy. You don't know nothing about no damn stress. You don't know mm. nothing about what it's like to survive out here in these damn YouTube streets. You don't know, but you're about to find out. Another thing about Natasha is whatever she's going through is always like the worst that anybody, like when she had COVID, that was like the worst that the doctor had ever seen. Um, the YouTube, it's like, oh my gosh, it's the worst, you know, I've ever been 
through YouTube. Oh, my family, we're going through the worst situation. Everything is always so worse than anybody else. Like nobody could have gone through it. It's like until you walk a day in my shoes or she say something like that. I mean, she does that all the time. It's always worse. Like, so you're not allowed to have feelings. You're not allowed to express yourself because she will be like, well, mine is worse. You know, it's like everything's a competition with her. It's like, it's not a competition. Whatever Noodle Mash is going through, whether it be with her channel or mental health or anything, that is her story. That is her of everything that she's going through. Like, it's not a competition. It still affects her. You know, but with everything with Natasha is a competition. It's like, oh, you have no idea, you know, of this and that. You have no idea what my family goes through. You have no idea. Well, you don't know what anybody else goes through. Like, believe it or not, Natasha, but we all have our own family. Like, we all have our own life, family, our own YouTube channel, you know, whatever. I mean, it's just like, it's just everything with you is a competition. I mean, it really is. And you're, and honestly, it shows a lot about how insecure you are. Because in reality, you try to come off as, as this really tough, you know, person. But I really believe inside, and this is all my opinion, is that you're hurting a lot. Um, you're a very insecure person. And you get a lot of validation by people. By people and money. So as long as people continue to tell you you're so beautiful. Oh, your makeup looks so nice. Oh, your hair looks beautiful beautiful today oh that you know shirt you're wearing or dress is so beautiful on you oh here's the money you know that's how you find your worth and which is really sad you know but you do and it says a lot when you talk about people um especially like the way that you are always degrading people and the way that you look at as everything is a competition you lack a lot of empathy um it's just very telling to me of the person that you are like a lot you're about to find out and then your whining titty baby bitching ass can go cry about how bad your nerves are and that you just couldn't take the drama bitch you are the drama now you got some and you about to really get some because i'm gonna tell you right now there is a reason reason that I tell people, fuck around and find out. Mm. You're going to find out. Find out what, Natasha? What? Oh, she loves the drama. You want me to tell you why she loves the drama? You want me to tell you why she was made this post? Natasha, you because love the drama. Because she ain't got shit for views if she ain't talking about drama. And you ain't a survivor of shit. Surviving oh some goodness. bullshit on the damn internet, unless you have had it to the extent that I have had it. Oh, of course. It's always spiking. You ain't a damn survivor. You're just a trifling ass old bitch Ugh. who thinks they can do a damn craft. So disgusting to talk. Just, uh. You started the shit. I guess you forgot that. Of course, you'll mm -hmm. always forget that. You always forget what you do. It's just about what my reaction to you is. Because, you know, all y'all so damn perfect. And y'all don't never do nothing wrong. And it's always somebody else's fault, mainly mine. Because, you know, y'all couldn't possibly be imperfect in any way, shape, or form. Bitch, please. And I know your ass is watching, and if you ain't watching, your nosy ass husband is, because that's what you say. Oh my you goodness. Who cares? Your whole family. Like your nosy ass. Your whole family watches. Like, I'm sorry, not watches, listens to everything you say. You literally sit in the middle of the living room. Like, I mean, they, you don't even give them a choice. Like, you really don't. You literally just say all kinds of, of stuff, stuff that I wouldn't even say in front of my family. Like, I don't have any idea how a lot of this has become okay with you, but you say some stuff that like, even I cringe and I'm like, whoa, those are not even my kids. And I'm just like, that's really uncomfortable, but you have normalized it for them. You really have made this normal. And it's so weird that it is normal. It's not good. It's not good at all. And the way that you attack people, like, it's okay for them to go. If they decide that they do not want to be part of your community anymore, that is okay. That is their choice. Just the way that you have a choice to go wherever you want, to do whatever you want. Just like you always say, nobody's going to tell me what to do on social media. Well, what damn right do you have to tell people where they can go? Who can they support? Who? Can, I mean, it's just, it's so like, the way that you like to run your things is like a cult. 
And it's, it's, it's really disturbing. And when I saw this whole noodle mash attack, I mean, I'm serious. Like, it just remind me of the old vibes of the way of why YouTube took you off. Like, this is the reason why. You honestly can just be like, okay, you know, good riddance, you know, you go one way, I go another way, I wish you the best, and now let's talk about whatever. I mean, you created a drama channel, but you have a problem if somebody else likes drama. I mean, make that make sense. Like, none of that makes any sense. Like, why, why is it okay for you to always do whatever the hell you want to do, say whatever you want to do, and if somebody does you know anything different from your line i mean lord forbid if somebody even says hi in your chat you get upset which is, i don't even want to get started with that you're just so controlling you are very controlling and if somebody does opposite i mean this is what happens this has shown time and time again every time someone leaves your community they cannot leave quietly peacefully i mean i can imagine there's some people in your community now that probably want to leave but they can't even leave because i mean they're scared of what what you're gonna do this is what you do with everybody you do not know how to just let people go peacefully and that is your problem and then people see this and you i honestly believe that you had a great community months ago but your greed and your behavior has really turned off a lot of people and I don't know how many more people it takes for you to see that you are the problem. You are the one that's causing all these issues, like for your own self. Like, I don't know what it's really going to take. I mean, YouTube has terminated you. I don't even know, 14, 15 times, you know, I mean, you said you've had this for four years, this kind of same issues. These are not the same people that you've known for four years. So that means there's a lot of people that you have gone through that you have had a problem. So how many more people is it going to take for you to realize that you are the problem? But in my opinion, I believe that you are a narcissist and you're really never going to actually believe anybody else can be right and that you can be wrong and that you always think that they are the problem and you're not the problem. And that's really sad because I really honestly think that you could have had a great YouTube channel. I really do. I think you have a great personality as far as like entertaining people. I think that you're funny. Um, I, I do think that, you know, and you have that. But like I said, your behavior and greed got the best of you. Um, and when I say personality, I mean like the good side of you, not the whole bashing people, you know, um, and it's just really sad. It's really sad. And I'm sorry to Noodle Mash for, you know, what you went through. Just continue to stay strong. Um, she does this. This isn't personal, really. It really isn't. I mean, think about it. She, how many people have she done this to? Um, I also made a video of that of people who have left. And you can't be in this chat. And you can't be seen with this person. And it, it's just ridiculous. But, you know, I hope that many people continue to open their eyes to what Natasha is all about and what she's doing. And I don't know how anybody can support any person this way. I think it's very vile and disgusting. And like I said, that's my opinion. Um, I hope you guys like the video and make sure to like and subscribe and I will catch you guys on the next one.